In the culinary world, there exists a tier of delicacies that beckons only the elite. These foods, often shrouded in a veil of rarity and artisanal craftsmanship, represent more than just taste. They epitomize luxury, exclusivity, and in many cases, a storied history. As we venture through this video, prepare to embark on a gastronomic journey reserved for the few, but coveted by many. Number 1. Beluga Caviar Originating from the ancient and pristine waters of the Caspian Sea, beluga caviar is often considered the jewel of the gourmet world. This caviar is not just about its rich, buttery taste, but also about the experience it offers. Each tiny bead is a culmination of nature's perfection and centuries of fishing traditions. Harvested from the beluga sturgeon, one of the oldest and largest freshwater fish species, this caviar is distinctive because of its large grain size and a range of colors from silver to black. The fish itself, which can live up to a century and weigh as much as a ton, is a rarity, making its roe even more precious. What truly sets beluga caviar apart is its texture. Unlike other types of caviar, beluga has a soft, almost creamy consistency. When it touches the palate, it delivers a burst of flavors that can be likened to the taste of the sea, but with an unparalleled richness. It's a symphony of the briny deep, combined with a nutty undertone, making it a favorite among caviar connoisseurs. Beyond its taste, the art of enjoying beluga caviar is ritualistic. Traditionalists believe it should be consumed off the back of one's hand, allowing the warmth to release its subtle flavors. It's rarely paired with ingredients that might overshadow its taste. Simple accompaniments like blinis, a touch of creme fraiche, or even just a mother-of-pearl spoon are deemed enough. However, it's not just the taste or the traditions that make beluga caviar so revered. Its harvesting process is labor-intensive. Sturgeons are known for their slow maturation. A female beluga doesn't produce roe until she is around 20 years old. This delay, coupled with overfishing, has led to its scarcity, driving the prices even higher. Efforts have been made for sustainable farming, but the wild-caught variety remains the gold standard. Beluga caviar is more than just a food item. It is a symbol, a symbol of luxury, of patience, and of a connection to a world where culinary excellence meets history. For those who can acquire it, it's not just about indulgence, but about experiencing a piece of the world's rich gastronomic heritage. Number 2. White Truffle Often referred to as the diamond of the kitchen, the white truffle is one of nature's most opulent gifts to the culinary realm. Found predominantly in the Italian region of Alba and the Piedmont countryside, these truffles grow in harmony with oak, hazel, and other trees hidden beneath the soil, making their hunt a matter of skill and a touch of luck. What makes the white truffle an object of such obsession among chefs and gourmands worldwide is its distinct aroma. Earthy, with notes of garlic, cheese, and shallots, its fragrance is as intoxicating as its flavor is profound. Just a few shavings can transform a dish, elevating it to gourmet status, but its essence is fleeting. Unlike other ingredients, the white truffle's aroma diminishes with time, making it even more precious. The rarity of the white truffle is also attributed to its peculiar growing conditions and short harvest season. They cannot be cultivated or farmed in the same way other truffles can, making them even more elusive. This elusiveness, combined with a growing global demand, drives their price to soaring heights, especially during years of scarce yields. Number 3. Bird's Nest Soup in the towering limestone caves and cliffs of Southeast Asia, a unique delicacy takes form, not from the ground, but from the artistry of the swiftlet bird. Bird's nest soup, a dish revered in Chinese culture for its health benefits and taste, is made from the edible nests of these birds. But what makes this soup a luxury is not just its flavor or reputed benefits, but the perilous journey taken to procure each nest. Swiftlets craft their nests using their saliva, which solidifies when exposed to air. These nests, delicate and translucent, are affixed to the walls and roofs of caves, often located in inaccessible heights. Harvesters, in a test of both courage and skill, scale these heights using bamboo poles, ropes, and their sheer determination to retrieve the nests. Each nest is then painstakingly cleaned to remove feathers and other contaminants, a process that can take hours for just a handful. 
This intensive labor, coupled with the risks involved, contributes to the high cost of genuine bird's nest. Add to this the belief in its health-enhancing properties, from improved complexion to boosting immunity. And it becomes clear why bird's nest soup holds such a revered place in luxury dining. Every spoonful is not just a taste of delicate flavors, but also a sip of ancient traditions and the audacity of those who go to great lengths to bring this treasure from cliffside to table. Number 4. Fugu, Pufferfish Fugu, commonly known as pufferfish, stands as one of Japan's most notorious culinary experiences. This aquatic creature harbors a secret, tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin several times more lethal than cyanide. Just a minor amount can prove fatal, making the preparation and consumption of fugu an act of bravery, trust, and appreciation for culinary traditions. The enigma surrounding fugu isn't merely its potential deadliness, it's the juxtaposition of risk and allure. When prepared correctly, fugu offers a delicate, slightly chewy texture, with a clean and subtle oceanic taste. Some even claim to feel a tingling sensation on their lips after consumption, a reminder of the close dance with danger they've just undertaken. However, serving fugu is not a task for the average chef. In Japan, chefs undergo rigorous training for several years, followed by a stringent examination before they earn the license to prepare and serve this fish. Every part of the fish, from its removal from the tank to the final presentation, follows a meticulously crafted procedure. It's this unparalleled skill, coupled with the inherent risks, that makes dining on fugu a pricey endeavor. Number 5. Kopi Luwak Switching gears to the lush rainforests of Southeast Asia, one encounters another luxury product, albeit of a different nature. Kopi Luwak this coffee's journey from tree to cup is marked by an unusual intermediary, the civet. These nocturnal mammals have a penchant for ripe coffee cherries. However, while they digest the cherry pulp, the beans remain intact, passing through their system and subsequently collected from their droppings. The beans undergo a natural fermentation process in the civet's digestive tract, resulting in a coffee hailed for its smooth, chocolatey profile and lack of bitterness. But it's not just the taste that makes Kopi Luwak sought after, it's the rarity. Authentic Kopi Luwak is produced in limited quantities, given the natural method of its production. While there have been concerns and criticisms regarding the ethical treatment of civets in some Kopi Luwak production, true aficionados seek out beans from wild civets, ensuring both quality and ethical sourcing. Number 6. Saffron in the sun-kissed fields of countries like Iran, Spain, and India, a labor-intensive harvest unfurls at dawn. The target of this delicate operation is saffron, the slender, vivid crimson stigmas of the crocus sativus flower. Deemed the world's most expensive spice by weight, saffron has held civilizations in its aromatic thrall for millennia. Each saffron thread is hand-picked, a process that requires immense patience and care. Approximately 150,000 flowers yield just a kilogram of saffron, a testament to its exclusivity. Beyond its role in culinary dishes where it imparts a golden hue and a unique earthy taste, saffron boasts a rich tapestry of historical, medicinal, and cultural significance. From ancient manuscripts illuminated with its tint to perfumes and elixirs, the reach of saffron has been vast and varied. Today, this red gold continues to be a symbol of luxury, a spice that promises to elevate any dish it graces. Number 7. Matsutake Mushroom Venturing into the pine forests of Japan and other parts of East Asia, one encounters a fungal treasure known as the Matsutake Mushroom. These mushrooms, with their unmistakable spicy aroma and firm texture, have become a symbol of autumnal celebrations in Japanese cuisine. But it's not just their flavor that sets them apart, it's their scarcity. Matsutake mushrooms have a symbiotic relationship with specific trees, making attempts at cultivation largely unsuccessful. Their wild nature, coupled with factors like pine tree decline and increased insect activity, has led to dwindling harvests. Every autumn, foragers seek out these elusive fungi, hoping to find them pushing through the forest floor, their caps still veiled. Consumed both fresh and dried, Matsutake mushrooms are often reserved for special occasions gracing dishes with their distinct flavor, a taste that captures the very essence of the forests from which they emerge. Number 8. Wagyu Beef 
In the serene pastures of Japan where tradition melds seamlessly with modernity, Wagyu cattle graze leisurely, embodying the promise of an unparalleled culinary experience. Wagyu, translating to Japanese cow, is not just beef. It's a delicacy, celebrated for its exceptional marbling. This intricate webbing of fat interspersed with muscle is the secret behind its melt-in-the-mouth texture and rich, buttery flavor. The cultivation of Wagyu beef is an art form, with cattle often receiving massages, specialized diets, and meticulous care. This dedication is evident in every cut, whether it's the famed Kobe or the lesser-known but equally exquisite Miyazaki and Matsusaka. When cooked, Wagyu releases its intramuscular fat, creating an unmatched umami flavor profile, making it a coveted ingredient in fine dining establishments worldwide. Number 9. Bluefin Tuna Transitioning from the lush pastures to the deep blue, the oceans hold a prized gem of their own, the bluefin tuna. A majestic creature capable of incredible speeds, the bluefin tuna's lean, powerful physique translates into a sashimi and sushi experience that is second to none. Its rich, ruby-red meat, particularly the fatty otoro belly section, is celebrated for its depth of flavor and silky texture. However, this culinary status has come at a price. Unprecedented demand, especially from luxury sushi markets, has resulted in severe overfishing. Conservationists and chefs alike have raised alarms about dwindling populations, urging for sustainable fishing practices. Today, bluefin tuna isn't just a representation of sushi's zenith, but also a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between culinary desires and the sustainability of our oceans. Each bite is a dance of flavors and a call to action, a hope that future generations will also savor this marine marvel. Number 10. Densuke Black Watermelon in the northernmost island of Japan, Hokkaido, amidst its diverse produce, one finds a fruit that redefines luxury, the Densuke black watermelon. At first glance, its deep, glossy black rind is a stark contrast to the conventional watermelon's vibrant green, capturing the beholder's intrigue. But the allure of the Densuke doesn't stop at its appearance. Slice it open, and its crisp, ruby-red flesh promises a sweetness and juiciness that few other watermelons can match. Every year, only a limited number of these melons make it to the market, with each one being meticulously inspected for quality. Auctions in Japan have seen individual Densuke watermelons being sold for thousands of dollars, particularly the first harvests of the season. In a culture where fruit gifting is a treasured tradition, the Densuke black watermelon stands as a testament to the lengths to which craftsmanship and rarity can elevate an everyday item to a symbol of prestige. Number 11. Almas Caviar Transitioning from the fertile fields to the expansive waters, there lies another epitome of luxury, the Almas caviar. This pale, golden-hued caviar, often housed in a tin made of 24-karat gold, is the pinnacle of opulence. Sourced from the Iranian beluga fish that swim in the pristine waters of the Caspian Sea, Almas caviar is not just rare, it's exceptionally so. The beluga sturgeons, which must be at least 100 years old to produce the almas, are becoming increasingly rare, making their row an unparalleled delicacy. Each grain of almas caviar bursts with a flavor that captures the essence of the sea with subtle, nutty undertones. It's a sensory experience, a journey through time, and a reflection of a world where the lines between nature, luxury, and craftsmanship seamlessly converge. Number 12. Foie Gras Hailing from the culinary landscapes of France, foie gras has cemented its position as one of the world's most luxurious foods. Translating to fatty liver, foie gras is produced from the enlarged livers of ducks or geese, achieved through specific feeding techniques. When cooked, it offers a texture that's unparalleled, rich, buttery, and meltingly soft, with a taste that's both delicate and intense. Often served as a pâté, mousse, or in its pristine seared form, foie gras graces the plates of many haute cuisine restaurants, celebrated for its unique flavor profile. However, its production methods have been the center of ethical debates. The process of gavage, force-feeding birds to enlarge their livers, has drawn criticism from animal rights activists and led to bans in various regions. Today, while traditional foie gras remains a symbol of French gastronomic excellence, there are efforts to produce ethical versions without force-feeding, 
allowing connoisseurs to savor this delicacy with a clearer conscience. Number 13. Golden Opulence Sunday In stark contrast to the rustic traditions of foie gras, the Golden Opulence Sunday offers a taste of modern luxury. Served at New York's Serendipity 3, this ice cream sundae is the epitome of extravagance, a symphony of the finest ingredients. It features Tahitian vanilla ice cream infused with Madagascar vanilla beans and chunks of rare chow chocolate from Venezuela. But what truly sets it apart is its lavish garnish. Drizzled with Amide Porcelana, one of the world's most expensive chocolates, and topped with candied fruits, truffles, and marzipan cherries, its piece de resistance is the edible 23-carat gold leaf that envelops it. Accompanied by a gilded sugar flower and served in a crystal goblet with an 18-carat gold spoon, the Golden Opulent Sunday is less a dessert and more a statement, a celebration of indulgence in its purest form. Number 14. Jamon Iberico de Bellota From the picturesque pastures of Spain emerges a culinary masterpiece, the Jamon Iberico de Bellota. This ham, unlike any other, carries with it the essence of the land, the traditions of its people, and the uniqueness of its source, the Iberian pig. These black-hoofed creatures roam freely in the oak groves of southwestern Spain, foraging naturally and feasting primarily on fallen acorns, or belotas. This diet, rich in oleic acid, infuses their fat with a distinctive flavor and a soft, melt-in-the-mouth quality. The curing process, often lasting several years, further intensifies this ham's characteristics. Sliced wafer-thin, each piece of Jamon Iberico de Bellota offers a harmonious blend of nutty flavors, sweet fat, and tender meat, a testament to the balance of nature and artisanal craftsmanship. In Spain and beyond, this ham is more than food. It's a celebration of heritage, a ritual, and a gustatory journey. Number 15. Yubari King Melon Shifting our gaze to the island of Hokkaido in Japan, another marvel of nature awaits. The Yubari King Melon Unlike any other melon, the Yubari King is the epitome of perfection in fruit cultivation. Its skin, a smooth, uniform orange, holds within it flesh of the most exquisite texture and sweetness. Every Yubari King melon undergoes rigorous scrutiny, ensuring that only the most flawless specimens earn the title. Cultivated with meticulous care and attention, these melons often command exorbitant prices, especially in pears, which are considered auspicious gifts. But the true value of the Yubari King lies in its taste. Each bite is a harmonious symphony of flavors, encapsulating the dedication of its growers and the richness of the Hokkaido soil. In Japan's fruit-centric culture, the Yubari King melon reigns supreme, a symbol of perfection, luxury, and nature's bounty. Number 16. Manuka Honey From the pristine landscapes of New Zealand, a honey emerges that isn't just sweet, but offers a trove of therapeutic benefits. Manuka Honey Produced by bees that pollinate the native manuka bush, this honey has garnered worldwide attention for its potent medicinal properties, especially its natural antibacterial qualities. Unique to Manuka Honey is the presence of methylglyoxal, MGO, a compound responsible for its robust antimicrobial action. Beyond its antibacterial prowess, Manuka honey is celebrated for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant capacities, often used in wound care, skin care, and as a natural remedy for various ailments. The authenticity and potency of Manuka honey are measured using the unique Manuka factor, UMF, rating, ensuring that what one consumes or applies is of the highest standard. As global demand surges, this golden elixir has become a symbol of both luxury and wellness, a testament to nature's capacity to heal and rejuvenate. Number 17. Toac Chocolate Venturing into the lush rainforests of Ecuador, one encounters a chocolate that is as much about history as it is about flavor. Toac Chocolate Crafted from the rare national cacao beans, Toac is not just chocolate. It's an experience, a journey through time and taste, these beans, once thought to be extinct, carry with them the legacy of ancient cacao cultivation, and Toac brings this history to life. Every bar is the result of meticulous fermentation, aging, and crafting processes, encapsulating flavors that range from floral to woody. 
Presented in handcrafted Spanish Elmwood boxes, each Toac chocolate bar is accompanied by a specially designed tasting utensil, emphasizing the brand's ethos of savoring chocolate in its purest form. In a world awash with mass-produced confections, Toac stands apart, championing the essence of luxury, rarity, and the rich tapestry of cacao's legacy. Number 18. Lafitte Rothschild Wine the Bordeaux region of France, with its rolling vineyards and historic chateau, is the birthplace of some of the world's most iconic wines. Among them stands a Titan, a wine that has been celebrated for centuries and has graced the tables of royalty and dignitaries alike, the Lafitte Rothschild. Originating from the Chateau Lafitte Rothschild estate, this wine is a symphony of terroir, tradition, and time. Its vines, deeply rooted in gravelly soil, give rise to grapes that are transformed through a combination of age-old techniques and modern innovations into a wine of unparalleled elegance. Each bottle of Lafitte Rothschild captures the essence of Bordeaux, a balance of power and finesse. With its nuanced bouquet of dark fruits, earth, and subtle spices, and a palate that evolves with age, revealing layers of complexity, it's no wonder that Lafitte Rothschild has been the muse of poets, artists, and wine aficionados. Its legacy, intertwined with the Rothschild name, has made it a beacon of luxury, history, and above all, exquisite taste. Number 19. Domaine de la Romanée Conti Wine In the heart of Burgundy, another wine legend unfolds, one that captivates with its rarity and mystique, the Domaine de la Romanée Conti, often simply referred to as DRC. This wine, derived from a mere 1.8 hectares of vineyard land, is a masterpiece of Pinot Noir expression. The Romani Conti Vineyard, with its rich history dating back to the Roman times, produces wine that is the very essence of Burgundy. Each bottle is a journey, a narrative of the land, the vintage, and the meticulous care that goes into its creation. With aromas that dance between red fruits, forest floor, and delicate floral notes, and a palate that reveals profound depth and purity, DRC is more than just wine. It's an emotion, a moment suspended in time. Its limited production and unparalleled quality make it one of the most sought-after and revered wines, a testament to the artistry of winemaking. Number 20. Edible Gold Gold, with its unmistakable shimmer and allure, has long been a symbol of opulence, treasured by civilizations across eras and continents. But beyond its use in jewelry, coinage, and art, gold has found its way into a realm where indulgence meets artistry, the gourmet kitchen. Edible gold, often presented in delicate leaf form or as fine dust, has emerged as a coveted ingredient, elevating dishes and drinks into regal experiences. Historically, Gold's gastronomic journey can be traced back to ancient civilizations. The Egyptians believed in its medicinal properties, while the Elizabethans sprinkled gold dust on decadent banquets to showcase their affluence. The allure of edible gold lies not in its taste, for it is tasteless and non-nutritive, but in its visual impact and the sheer luxury it conveys. It's the epitome of culinary extravagance, transforming even the simplest dish into a work of art. Today's world of haute cuisine has embraced edible gold with open arms. From gold-flecked chocolates and pastries to luxurious cocktails adorned with golden rims, this precious metal graces the plates and palates of the elite. Notably, dishes like the golden opulent sundae or the gold-wrapped sushi have caught global attention, making headlines and drawing diners eager for a taste of luxury. But beyond the opulence, the use of gold in food serves as a testament to the human desire for beauty, and the extraordinary. It speaks to the length chefs will go to create a multi-sensory experience, one that transcends taste and becomes a visual and emotional spectacle. For diners, consuming gold becomes an act of participation in an age-old tradition of celebrating the grandeur and the exceptional. Edible gold, in its silent brilliance, captures the intersection of tradition and innovation, history and modernity. It stands as a symbol of mankind's unending quest for the finest, the rarest, and the most ethereal, even in the world of gastronomy.